Hello everyone, this is Joel Davis with YouAreTheBroker.com helping you to build a highly effective and highly profitable broker business. The operative word there, profitable. Our goal is to help you increase your sales, make a lot of money with your broker business. And the inspiration for this video is uh, came from a conference call I had yesterday from a prospect who looks like he's going to become a broker. Had a great conversation with him. Uh, as a side note, for those of you who uh, who express your interest and you set up a conference call, guess what? You're going to be talking to me. I'm going to be calling you. There's a reason I'm calling you versus uh, my assistant, like Amelia. Okay, I'm obviously well versed in this industry because this is my this is my pet project. You know, my broker business I own exclusively. Doing great with sales. We're at, we're having our best year to date. Again, I launched my business in late 2011, so 2012. So we're at seven full years now. Uh, and we're having our best year to date, which is awesome. And there's a reason why every time you want a conference call, uh, when you're getting started, it's me calling you. And then once you are uh, in enrolled and you become an active licensee, that's when you are literally working over the phone with one of my active uh, regional directors, my RDs. Uh, all of them are great. We got five of them working with our licensees, so that's awesome. Um, but there's a reason why I call you and it's basically it comes down to the level of expertise. Uh, I know a lot of you correspond with Amelia. She's awesome and I love her and she does a great job organizing everything. And um, But again, when it comes time to actually have that conference call, you're going to be talking to me. So definitely submit your information. I look forward to talking with you. But I had a great conversation yesterday with a guy who um, I told him, I flat out said, I said, I got to be honest with you, you are probably the most well-read person I've talked to in I don't know how long. I mean, this guy, when we were talking on the phone, and we had a great conversation, talked to him for a while, got carried away, went off on a couple of tangents, had a good good talk, good conversation, uh, good time. And uh, I, again, I said, you, you gotta be the most well-read person uh, I've spoken to in a long time because he, he was uh, quoting different books that I was familiar with, and quoting a lot of them even more that I wasn't familiar, familiar with. He was naming authors I knew and a lot even more that I didn't know. And I even told him, I said, listen, here's the deal. You've read so many books and you've been able to regurgitate and recite so many different tidbits of information and philosophies and methodologies from all these uh, self-help books. Uh, so, you know, uh, the self-improvement books and, and it's big industry. So the books sell like hotcakes. And I told him, I said, it's all great. That's all great. But it all boils down to how's it helping you make money? How is it helping you make money? And uh, again, it, it, I, I'm, all, I'm reminded uh, of two things. Number one, it's like uh, when I was a kid, my mom always told me, that when you listen to advice from different people, it's like like eating fish. You eat the meat and you spit out the bones. And that's exactly how a lot of those, those, those motivated self-help books are. Uh, there's merit to a lot of them, uh, a lot of good stuff. So, I'm not, so by all means, I'm not discrediting anybody, uh, any of that good stuff. But uh, it's, you got to eat the meat and spit out the bones. Some of it's fluff and nonsense. Some of it will waste your time. You gotta, that's bones. You got to get rid of it. The meat, the, good, the golden nuggets, I mean, that's what you want to keep. The second thing I'm always reminded of when people start reciting all those self-help books, then again, I'm not discrediting them. It's like everyone's big on motivation, motivation, motivation. Listen, we're all motivated, but guess what? We're all tired, okay? We're all motivated throughout the course of the day, but then guess what? At least towards the end of the day, you're tired. So does that mean you're not a motivated person? Motivation is like an emotion. I mean, it's gonna come and it's gonna go. Who cares? I care more about what's your passion. Okay, so I want you, I want to know what your vision is, what your passion is, what your desire is, where you want to be, uh, what's your plan to get there. Motivated, when I wake up in the morning, I'm motivated. I, when I, before I go work out, I'm motivated. And guess what, after I work out, I'm tired. And later, later on at night, I'm tired. Does that mean I don't have passion? Does that mean I don't have any, I've, I've lost all my desire, I've lost all my goals? I've lost my vision? No, not at all. That's why when people talk to me about the motivation stuff, I'm, that's hogwash. I care about what's your, what's your passion. Where, where's your passion at? You know, what's your desire? What's your vision? Motivation is a fleeting emotion. So I, that's just a little side note. I caution you as you read all those books and you get all pumped up. And, uh, 
Okay, later on in the day, what happens when you have that caffeine drop? What happens when you're tired in the day after you had a long day and you're talking to people and you're working, you're hustling, doing your thing? Come on. But and I, as I explained to, uh, to this prospect, I said, look, here's the deal. I'm hearing a lot of good things from you. You're able to uh, recite a lot of good things and I appreciate it, I applaud it, and you can apply all those things in your business. But the one thing that's lacking that you're not giving me is what's the overall system? What is the actual system? What are all of the different strategies, systems, processes in sequence to help you achieve all these goals that you're telling me about? Again, this guy's telling me I would like to be able to make this, I wanna be able to do this, I wanna be able to free myself from this, free myself from that, and build this, build it. And that's all great, I love all that stuff, man. I mean, look, again, this is the seventh year of my uh, broker business. Seventh full year of my broker business, and we're having our best year to date. We, every single year, we've increased sales, we've, we, we've increased uh, our revenue. I mean, it's phenomenal. But what is the actual system that you personally have in place to accomplish your goals and make that money? And look, read all those books. Be be as well read as you can be. Uh, get get any education you can get. All that all that good stuff. I applaud all that stuff. But at the end of the day, what's going to make you real money? Now, when you become a broker, you're going to be personally working. First of all, you're going to get all my training material from me. You're going to be hearing from me. I'm going to be teaching you all that. Uh, you're also going to be um, working with one of my RDs. One of my RDs is going to be working with you for a full year. For a full year uh, included in your world of investment is his commission because he's going to be spending time. Time is money. Money is time. You gonna you want someone's uh, time? You gotta be willing to pay for it. My RDs, they earn commission. Part of your enrollment investment actually goes to pay for them. So that, that way they are there at your disposal for a full year. Now, my broker business. Think about this. Let's just do easy math. If, if my broker business we're having our best year to date, we do three million. If we do three million, and I, I'm gonna say over the last couple of years, uh, let's see, it was 2017, we averaged 31. 31% uh, margin, Eight, uh, 2018, we were at 29, you know, so let's say we're averaging around 30%. So what's a, what's a third of that, okay? Look, at the end of the day, what does that money mean to you? Okay, what does that money, what, what is that value to you? Let's say your broker business in the first year or the second year, let's say you, let's say you do uh, 300,000. Let's, let's keep numbers uh, simple and easy. Let's say you do 300,000 and you're keeping a third of that. That's 100 grand, but what's that value of 100 grand? What, what, what is that to you? Let's say, you, you, let's say you're doing 600,000. If you're doing 600,000 and you're following all of our strategies, you're doing exactly what we say, uh, you follow my methodology, my strategies, my tactics to a T, I'm confident you're gonna make the same amount of money. In fact, I got, I got one, a couple licensees, but one of them in particular, I mean, he's, he's killing what I'm doing our, uh, per, per sale, not overall revenue yet, but his per sale on deliveries, I mean, he, some of them he's doing two and three times as much in, uh, in, in, in price point um, revenue. So for every work order, he's doing three or four times as much as I am for deliveries. Phenomenal, that's awesome. So, but again, play with these numbers, okay? If you, if you do 600,000 in sales and you're keeping uh, a third of that in margin, What's that? What's the value on that? I mean, if you got two hundred thousand dollars that you just cleared, now listen. I'm always going to say this as a as a as a, as a disclaimer. Uh, the thing about the broker business is that this is a cash rich asset poor business. Again, this is a cash rich asset poor business. If you're looking to be one of those guys that's going to brag about, I got I got twenty employees. I got 10 vehicles, I got 50 employees, I got 20 vehicles, I got 30 vehicles. This isn't it. This is not it. This is all, this is a cash rich, asset poor business. Okay, first of all, if you, again, I come from the, the, the transportation, the logistics industry. Guess what? All those vehicles, they depreciate. They're not gonna be appreciating. What's that mean? That means that vehicle is just a means to an end. It's just that people call them assets, they depreciate. How is that vehicle, seriously, if you look at your P&L statement, you, you, know, you look at your financials with the bank, what do they look at? They look at those vehicles as assets. 
come on, man, those vehicles, they depreciate. They're not appreciating. I don't even like to call your vehicles assets. I know I'm digressing, but I don't even like to call vehicles assets because they depreciate. The vehicle is nothing more than a means to an end. That's it. Your real asset are your employees because your employees are going to keep generating the money. So when it comes to your broker business, guess what? Your labor force, what I'm going to teach you, it's all contractor based. Now, when I first launched my business, I tell everybody, and I'll tell you this from the very beginning of the training series, uh, my training series. The very first year, I literally started with a used box truck and I hired a crew. By the end of 2012, I had three. I had three crews, three trucks, you know, doing well, making between 12 and 13% margin. I knew I needed to transition and go full contractor base, and that's what I did throughout uh, uh, 2013. By 2014, I was completely 100%. 1099 contractor based and that's when my margins are going from 12 and 13 to you know 30 ish big difference you know i'm not carrying that overhead and i don't have those stressors of what happens if a vehicle breaks down if you got to change a vehicle uh the oil the the uh the uh the tires the the brakes the pads anything like that i don't have those i don't have those problems i'm not carrying the insurance i can can't stress to you enough how much um of an alleviation of stress or burden of nonsense of you know getting that call like hey you know certain vehicles having these problems we gotta get it in the shop i don't have those problems in in this my broker business it's all about sales 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 it's about building the relationship getting increasing those sales the reason why my revenue has increased from the, from 2018 to 19 is because at the end of the day we're starting to penetrate some new markets get some new sales going with some different stores some different corporate clients so, again, I go back to my conference call from yesterday, and I know I've digressed a lot, uh, so forgive me, but going back to the conference call from yesterday, look, I, I encourage you, read the books, uh, be as well-versed as you possibly can be, but always go back to this. After you've read the book, what is the actual game plan? What's your X's and O's? What is your actual system that's going to make you money? And then what's the value of that? How much money is it going to put in your pocket? How much money are you willing to invest in? You know, there's some people who are going to look at this broker business. Oh, I, I, I don't have $20,000 to invest in that. Oh, $20,000 too much. Hey, $20,000, that's a lot of money if I'm going to the store to buy food. But to make real money? I can't answer it for you. Everyone, we all have different perspectives. You know, it's, it's a, the, word make, the word make is a very uh, relative term. You know, the, the, the making money, making money. Make is the operative word because some people are happy making a thousand a month. Some people are happy making a few thousand dollars a month, ten thousand dollars a month. If, if that's what you want to cap your, if that's your ceiling and you want to cap yourself out of that, that's awesome. But I ask you this: What's the value if you're able to, if you're able to make as in take home another hundred thousand dollars a year? What if you were able to make or take home another half million dollars a year, as in take home? As in, like, if you just, your business, if your business just generated 1.5 million and you're taking home a third of it, that take home of half a million, how much does that change your life? If your business, boom, does 3 million. Look, is $3 million a lot of money? Absolutely not. I mean, compare, I mean, you got Google, you got Amazon. I mean, Amazon, they're, they're sending, you know, rocket ships up in space. I mean, that's, so $3 million doesn't even register on their radar. But guess what? If I'm keeping a third of that, that, that means a lot to Joel Davis. That's a nice chunk of change to be able to clear that. What's the value of that to you? So I encourage you. Uh, I know a lot of you watch this video. You've expressed interest. You've, uh, you've submitted your information. You've, you've, a lot of you have actually corresponded with Amelia, but you never followed through. You never took the next step. Uh, you, you never you know, pulled the trigger to, to launch your own broker business. Uh, some of you guys, and everyone has different circumstances. Everyone, everyone's busy. I get all that. Uh, some, some people, some people, they just they got their fists so tight and they're they're red knuckled. They're just holding on to that money. They're never gonna let it go. I, I don't. I can't help you. I can't help you under those circumstances. I can't help you. You want to be involved in something and make real money. Well, at some point in time, you gotta have the courage to invest. All right. So whether you're, some people call it a leap of faith, I call it courage. I mean, if you wanna. You want to make money, you got to invest money, you got to spend money. I mean, people, you want to you want to survive? Then just keep doing what you're doing. Keep money under the mattress, work your, your nine to five, dig the ditch, do whatever you got to do. That That's survival mode. I, I got no part of survival mode. I'm all about growth. I want growth, I want prosperity. I don't want to just be surviving, I want to be thriving. 
So I encourage you, I, I, again, I know I've thrown a lot of different things at you. Uh, and I've gone off on a couple different tangents because I could, I could talk about a lot of different subjects for a long time, I know. But I encourage you, some of you watching this right now, you got to do some soul searching, some serious uh, evaluating of where you're at right now and ultimately where you want to be. And if you know that you're not in the position that you want, if you don't feel that you're maximizing your potential, if you know you could do more, uh, you got to take action at some point in time. And I, I, you may be motivated, you might be motivated, but then later in the day you're tired. That doesn't mean you lost your passion. That doesn't mean you lost your vision. That doesn't mean you lost your desire because you're not motivated right now. That just means you want to go to sleep, man. Go, go to sleep, get some food, have a good dinner, have a good sleep. You wake up, boom, rest, let's go. But when you wake up, what's that strategy? That's where we come into play. That's where you are the broker.com. Look, I'm going to tell you, what's Joel Davis, what's your motivation? What's your passion for your broker business? I own my broker business exclusively, 100% me. That's my money. You are the broker.com. I'm going to be honest with you, I only own 20% of the company. I got four partners. And what they're helping us do is build a national network. That national network is what's really going to help us take this to the next level. Because our vision with youarethebroker.com is to further build the UDML, United Delivery Moving Logistics. That is the quote unquote vehicle that we're using to talk with and introduce ourselves to all of these national retailers, all these corporate clients, because guess what? We want to intertwine our national network. We want to intertwine the UDML, United Delivery Moving Logistics. Our goal, my partners and I, our, uh, our vision is to intertwine UDML with the supply chain management of all these different retailers and corporate clients because that's when all of our broker businesses explode, explode. So that's where $3 million no longer is just $3 million. <laughs> that's where it's $3 million times five, times 10, times 20. That's where things start to really explode. So uh, again, if you're at a point in time, and some of you right now, uh, you, you need to, uh, you need to hear this message. If you're at a point in time where you're not 100% sure, um, you, you're motivated, you got the passion, uh, but you're looking for the actual system, the actual vehicle to move you forward, to pursue your passion and accomplish your goals, to make you more money. Look, let's not get it twisted. Let's not get this twisted. Everything comes down to making more money. You need to make more money. If you're watching this, you're interested in making more money. You need to make more money. You need to increase your, your top line. You need to increase, you look at your P&L, the top line, sales, boom. That's what needs to be increased right now. You need to increase your top line. You need to increase your, your, your revenue, your sales. And that's exactly what youarethebroker.com is designed to do it. Not only do I wanna increase your top line, I wanna improve your bottom line. Increase the top line by building you a whole new business, increase your revenue, and then at the same time, improve your bottom line. How do I help you improve your bottom line? Guess what? You're not carrying all the overhead. You're not, you're not paying for, for wages. You're not paying for workers' comp. You're not, you're not matching FICA, and unemployment insurance. You're not doing all that stuff. You're 1099. You're 1099 contractors. That's, that's what you want. As of this recording right now, as of right now, I got 49 contractors that do work for us. And that's that I know of. I know I have other ones out there that aren't on my books because I know that some of my lead guys, they further subcontract our work orders, which means they got their own helpers that they further sub out the work to. Now, look, I don't mind. As long as the job gets done, it gets done right. I don't care because my guys, some of my guys, they're hungry. They're thirsty. They just want more and more. We just keep feeding them work orders. God bless them. I love it. And, and at the end of the day, I want them to be resourceful. I want them to solve the problems. I want them to be able to uh, take those work orders. To, we stack them up, give them as many as, we, boom, 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 boom. Just keep giving them to them. I know that, that by themselves with one or two helpers, they can't perform all those work orders at the same time. We'll give, we have work, we have work orders, uh, contractors. We'll give work orders at the exact same time. How can people, how can they be at two places at one time? They can't. But I know for a fact, because they've told me and we've talked about it, they got other guys that they further sub out work to with another truck. I got no problem. That's a hustler right there. That's someone who wants to make money. How much does that change their life? That's the beauty of having a, a growing broker business, of, of growing your network. Think about how many more people you're helping. We're helping people out there I've never even met. 
Now that's that's awesome. That's a good feeling for me. It's good for them. They're making more money. We're all happy as long as the job gets done and gets done properly. That's all I care about. So listen, I know I've gone on a tangent. Let me bring all this together for you real quick. For those of you watching this, some of you need to need this message because you've been teetering. Uh, I'm not sure I want to take that that leap. I don't want. I'm not sure I could take it. That's a leap of faith. I'm not sure I could take that next step. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. Uh, and you, some, you, some of you, whether you want to admit it or not, you are in survival mode. Whatever your look, if you are not building and growing and expanding your your net worth and, and your network, what, what seriously, what is the point? You're either growing or you're contracting. I mean, you're either uh, expanding or you, you you know you're deflating. You're, you're you're in survival mode. What's the point of that? I, I personally can't relate to that. But at the end of the day, I don't want you to relate to it either. So if you're serious about moving forward, I encourage you to reach out to us because when you do and you seriously want to have a, a uh, and you're serious about moving forward and you want to have a conference call, guess what? I'm going to pick up the phone and I'm going to call you. Coordinate that through Amelia. Amelia sends out, I see her emails all the time. I check in with her every day, every day, even on the weekends a lot of times because a lot of those emails are coming through on the weekends and you know people are busy doing their thing during the week. So they really start to catch up on the weekend. So Amelia, boom, it's all all through her email account. I see what she's doing, that's awesome. But definitely coordinate that with Amelia. Let us know, I'm literally gonna call you. If, if you're serious, by all means, if you're just, if, if, if you're really not serious, don't waste my time. I don't wanna, please don't waste my time. I'm not gonna waste your time. But if you're ready to move forward, you're ready to make real money, I mean, I'm here to help you. What more can I tell you? I'm here to help you, my RDs are here to help you. Uh, we're all here to support you because again, you're not just not, you're not going to be an island because it's not about just you building your own broker business. Back in the day, it would have been easy. I'll, I'll, I'll show you exactly what I do. You go off and, and build your own business, but we want you to be involved in what we're doing. We want you to build your own. You're, you're the, the stronger your network, the stronger the overall UDML, the United Delivery Moving Logistics. We want you to be an active component of our national network because the bigger and the stronger our national network, the stronger all of our broker businesses. So get involved, share your information. When you're ready to move forward, let us know, let Emilia know, uh, shoot her an email, and I will, as long as you share your information, you tell her, hey, I, I want a conference call, I want a conference call, I will personally call you because that's how committed I am to what we're doing and that's how dedicated we are to helping you out. So submit your information. When you do, I'm gonna see you at the top. Thank you.